All right, good evening everyone. This is Steve, KI5JUF. Hope everyone's having a good good weekend and all that good stuff. Uh, so what I get today is I want to talk about something I came across uh, that um, I knew this was in the radio, but I wasn't sure exactly how to access it, but I found it today in the manual, just reading through it. And what I want to talk about today is the radio has uh, a normal memory bank of 0 to 199 channels. So that's just what that's one bank of memories and you can scroll uh, through that entire 100 bank uh, all in one time uh, you, you can turn scan on and it'll scan 1 to 50 1 to 28 whatever you have so what the radio also has is it also has individual memory banks or groups they call them and what this does is uh, this, this video demonstrates how to take the 199 memory channels and it breaks them into six individual memory banks and the banks are designated as below. So we have the first bank which is 1 to 19 and bank number 2 is 20 to 39 bank number 40 or bank number 3 is 40 to 59 and then this one here, let's make sure, do I have these correct? I may need to correct these here, 20 to 30 59 to uh, this will be 80, yep, yeah, 80 to 99, and then we have the programmable memory scanning bank, and then we also have the uh, the 5 megahertz bank, which is actually channelized. So those are for the when you're talking on the 5 megahertz. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the radio, but I have all these instructions here, and I'll post all this in the body of the email. What it talks about doing is uh, there's a feature under the menu button, and this menu feature is called uh, number 34 uh, memory group enable and what this does is this actually is a allows you to change it from scanning 1 to 99 memory channels to actually cha scanning um, those five six memory groups up there so it, it in other words it groups the memories and instead of having one memory bank of 1 to 99 it now has uh, six memory banks and each one is respectively has the following memory locations in it. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and go over to the radio and we'll practice turning on this function under the menu setup and then we'll go in and uh, we can also turn it off and then what we'll do is we'll actually go to the radio and actually go through and look. I have programmed my radio with uh, three banks of frequencies. I have the first bank which is just my repeater channels and local simplex. The second bank is the International Space Station and the third bank is the International Space Station repeater. So we could actually scan those groups individually. So let's go over to the radio. Okay, we're back. We're in front of the radio now. So what I'll show you is, I'll go ahead and show you what I have right now is uh, I have the radio in normal memory scan, so I can scan, here's my first bank of 20, all the way to 28, and then it jumps to 40, and then of course the next bank is my memory uh, 1L and uh, 1 upper, and I have those. So right now I, I'm scanning all of these channels at just at one time. I'm going from, and what's important is I'm going from 18, now I'm in the second bank if the group uh, memory was turned on so let's go ahead and do that. And so what we'll do first is we'll press the menu setup then we're going to locate um, setting number 34 now it's disabled so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press select and remember blue is always the uh, the default and I'm going to turn this once. Now we're enabling it. I'm going to press enter. Now we're now we're press back. Now watch what happens. Let's see we're scrolling through. But look what happens here. Guess what? This might actually cause some people problems because if this feature is turned on, you can only uh, Let's see, yeah, you can only ac access the first group of 20. I'll show you how to fix it. It's easy. So you're kind of going, oh crap, I went to 19 and boop, I flipped right back over to 1. Well, you've got other frequencies in there, but I'll show you how to get to them. So when this happens is when you turn on that group memory enable, by default it goes to group 1, which is channels 1 through 19. So how we go to the second group, 
is we press the function M list and now we're going to press this button right here and it's called group and when I press group I want you to notice what happens it's on 17 right now but watch what happens when I go to press group now when I turn it okay guess what happens now it goes to the first channel in each memory group or each each individual memory location there's the third bank and there's the fifth bank and there's the sixth bank so now we're, we're scanning those banks of 20 this is bank 1 we jump to bank 2 we jump to bank 3 bank 5 and bank 6 now here's how you get down into those individual banks so let's go to bank number 1 right now we're in group mode now how we get to the individual where we can scan those individual 20 channels we press memory channel now that changed to MCH now watch now we can get to those 20 individual memory locations but however we can only access those 20 memory locations so we can't go any higher now let's say we want to go to the second group of memory channels which is ch channels 20 uh, through 40 now what we'll do is we'll press group again now there's the second group the first group now the second group now watch what happens now I'm going to press MCH now I can access all of those frequencies within that second bank of uh, programs and I've got those what I've got here is I've got one of my digital uh, simplexes but I've also got the International Space Station simplex in this particular bank but notice I can't go any higher than this than 27 I can't get to 40 so now what I have to do is I have to go back into group mode and I have to tell it I want to go to the next bank now I press MCH now I can access those individual channels for the International Space Station repeater. So what the power of this is, I could actually scan only this bank. So if I wanted to listen to International Space Station repeaters, I could just scan this particular bank. Now if I wanted to scan a different bank, I would press scan. Now I would have to press group, and I would have to go back to that second, that other bank. So let's scan this bank. We're still in group mode, so we have to go back to memory channel. We press scan. Now look at that. I'm scanning the 1 through 19. So this allows individual group scanning. So if you wanted to scan, for example, uh, the International Space Station simplex repeater, we would go ahead and stop scanning here. We would go back to group mode, and then we would pick... Uh, there it is right there, there's 40. This is the repeater, this is actually the simplex. What I'll do here is I'll press MCH. Okay, there's the repeater. Now what's going to happen is when I press scan, it's, it's, it's blocked into that particular group, that group 2, that 20 through 40. Or 20 through 39 actually. So you're individually scanning those groups. If I press scan again, now we can actually scroll anywhere within these channels. But remember, we can only access 20 through, and I've only got 27 uh, frequencies or 27 memory or seven memory locations, so it d dumps off as seven. And again, if I wanted to go back to the group, then I go back and there's number 40. Press scan, and now it's going to scan that bank. Press scan again press memory channel keep in mind you can only go through that particular bank so you can kinda of compartmentalize your memory location activities by group 1, group 2, group 3 and so forth and remember in each one of those groups there's actually 20 memory locations except group number 1 only has 19 so let's do this we'll go back to group number 1 and we'll go to uh, Remember to get to the individual to get to the individual memory locations within that group you have to press memory channel. Now you can get access anywhere within those 20 memory locations or 19. Now let's say for example 
eh, you don't want to compartmentalize your memory channels anymore and you don't want to have banks of 20s and so forth so we would go back to we would press uh, menu and we will go to number 34 and we'll press select we'll disable it press enter back now watch what happens when I scroll through starting at number one there's 19 now watch bam now we're, since we since the grouping the grouping is features turned off now now we can actually access that entire uh, let's see what do we what do we do here actually I've got to change that to memory channel now we're good oops let's see what we I'm going to lock the VFO. So now we're actually going through. Now if I go to group and press it, uh, it nothing's, nothing happens because the group feature is turned off. I'm turning the knob and nothing's happening. But if I go back, let's turn this go back to memory channel. If I go back to group and I enable it, now it's active. See how it's jumping? So, the ideal here is if you want to take, for example, group channels 1 through 19 and you want to put uh, fire department on there or groups 20 through 40, you want to put fire and rescue, uh, groups 40 through 60, you might want to put uh, RACES or ARIES uh, communication uh, memory locations, you can easily do that. Uh, you can compartmentalize everything. And remember, if you have this turned on and you want to go to, say, Say you want to go to 43. Well, you can't get there. Ah, what do I do? This is where you press memory channel. Once it says memory channel, now you can access each individual channel with that memory group. So, anyway, I hope this kind of gives you a little idea. I'll post all the notes on the, in the bottom of the email. But uh, if you ever come into a situation where you, uh, what can happen is I'll show you. If this is if if this is enabled. Uh, memory group is enabled and you go to uh, let's see memory group number one and you what you end up doing is you go back to memory channel and you're scanning your radio going well I got all these in here but I can't get to them look I'm going all the way through let's clear this uh, I'm going but I've got 35 40 channels but I when I go to 19 it scrolls over so what you do here is remember this is what's happening you have now memory groups turned on and if you press uh, like I say you press MCH then you can access those individual memory groups but again if you don't want this group group feature on you can easily turn it off and when you turn it off now everything um, let's see let's go back here We've got to get out of group here. That's the problem. See, it's not doing anything. If, if group is not turned on and you have group on there, nothing's going to happen. So let's go back to memory channel. Now we have full access to all of the frequencies or memory locations that we program. So anyway, I hope this helps. One of the things that I remember, I had a message from a viewer one time that told me he could only access the first 20 uh, channels. And uh, I'll go back and try to find his email. But hopefully if he finds this email or this video, he will be able to uh, kind of get an idea of what um, what we what we did to fix it. And uh, I didn't know I didn't know how to fix it at the time. He told me he could only access uh, you know the first 20 channels, and uh, I didn't know how to fix it. But uh, when I found this out, I kind of went, "Oh yeah!" Now I want to hope this guy sees the video and helps him out. So anyway, I hope this video helps and it's informative. Uh, and I hope everyone has a good day and a good weekend and all that good stuff. And thanks again for watching from 73 from KI5JUF and have a good evening and thanks again.